Proverbs 17, 28. Even a fool, when he keeps silent, is thought to be wise. I experienced this scripture firsthand the day I bought this. So this is a vegetable cutter, a crinkle cutter. Let me tell you the story. So when my elder brother was um, planning for his wedding, I had to buy a couple of things. And then I went to Abba. For those of you who know Abba, yes. Abba is a very good market where you can buy one or two at very affordable prices, right? So I went to Abba. I went and I bought everything I needed to buy. When I finished buying, I got into a bus, the bus that was supposed to take me back. And while I was there, this guy came and was selling this. Now, the way he advertised this thing was Harvard standard. I mean, in a few minutes, he sold this for 500 naira. I didn't have a lot of use for this because I actually have a bigger vegetable cutter. But the way he advertised it, I was like, let me just buy it, you know. I may just be able to do one or two with it, like when I don't want to use that other one, right? And in a few minutes, like almost all the women in the bus were coming out to buy. Some were buying one, some two. And this man was making good money. And this was me just sitting in that bus and saying, wow, Igbo men and advertisement, Sha, admiring his skillfulness in advertising his goods. Until this man opened his mouth. Don't go anywhere. Listen to how this scripture applies to the story. So there was another woman who was in the bus and I think she bargained. She said, are you not going to sell it for 400 naira? And there was a man behind this woman like, don't mind women no. That's anytime you want to sell anything to them, they will bargain. Meanwhile, they are one of the richest people on earth. And to corroborate this story, he said, yes, it's true. You see that thing you're saying is very true. You know, by the time the gist started going and going and the gist was becoming sweeter, he said yes, that his wife, as he's talking to all of us here, he's, he has a wife in Lagos State. Yes, that his wife runs a salon, a hair salon. That do you know that in three years, his wife has not called him one day to ask for money for food. He has three children with his wife. Yes, that the wife does not ask him for money for food. The wife feeds the children, clothes the children, sends them to school, and even pays house rent. This thing we see that he's selling here, he's just using it to maintain himself. That women, don't mind women, who, they will pretend like they don't have money. Meanwhile, they have money. But when you show them shaggy, you will now see that actually they had money. And I just started regretting. Why did I give this man my 500 naira? Like, why? Why? This man is not as intelligent or even as wise as I thought. And I ended up regretting it, right? Now, mind you, before this man spoke, he could have been assumed to be wise, right? <laughs> this is not to say you should not talk. You can actually have meaningful conversations, even have jokes, a full banter, but it should be, 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 you know, it should be between the bounds of wisdom, good reasoning. Learn to keep quiet. It doesn't mean you're not social. It doesn't mean you don't have anything to say. It doesn't even mean your mouth is smelly. Just learn to keep quiet. I'm going to just summarize this video in one single sentence. Avoid the urge to shalaye.